G'day and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats No Knots episode where we teach you how to tie the button knot. This knot is essential to make sure your soft cycles are as strong as they can be. Today's demo we're going to use two different coloured ropes to make it easier to see how the knot develops. The knot is put together as a combination of two knots, the wall and the crown knot. So if you know how to tie either of those knots, uh, it should help you as we move through this demo. When tying the button knot, it's important to pick a direction. And for today's demo, we're gonna select clockwise. Basically this means whenever we're looping the ropes around each other, we'll always do it in a clockwise direction. Step one is to take the red cord and create a loop once again in the clockwise direction over on top of itself. Step two is to take the purple line over the top of the red line and then up and through the purple loop, making sure that the tail is underneath the main cord. This completes the first wall knot. What you want to do now is just tidy it up, um, moving the loops around and pulling the tails through until you get the knot in the position shown here. So now that we've completed the wall knot, it's time to put the first crown knot in. I'm going to start by taking the purple line and putting the red one over the top of it. We then take the purple one under the red one, completing the crown knot. Next step in the process is to do our second wall knot. So holding the first wall knot down in the center, take the red cord and then pull it over the top of the purple one, bringing it along parallel to the first wall knot and then up through the purple loop. Just teasing it through and keeping it parallel to the red line from the first wall knot. To complete the second wall knot, you then are going to take the purple line, remembering to once again go in the clockwise direction. And we're going to take it over the top of the red line, around the back, and then up through the first red loop of the wall knot behind all of the other lines and then up through the hole once again running parallel to the cord from the first wall knot. With two walls and one crown knot completed it's now time to do the final crown knot. Success at this part of the knot comes with the grip that you need from the left hand. What you want to do is pinch the two tails of the rope between your thumb and your forefinger. Uh, this is important because as we do the last crown knot, uh, you're going to add four lines into that grip. So at this point, you want to turn the knot uh, up and look at it from the top and open up the original crown knot that you created, creating a hole so that you can put the tail back down through it and then line it up with the tail. So take the purple one, we take it up over the top uh, and then down and then pinch it parallel with the purple tail below. Then you want to grab the red tail, taking it up over the top, down the center and then once again pulling it parallel to the red tail below. This effectively completes the knot, now we've got to go through the critical process of tightening it. Remember at the start of the knot, we said we were going to go in a clockwise direction. This is really important at this step because as you pull the lines tight, if you are holding on to the longer tail and then always pulling the lines in a clockwise direction and then teasing them all the way through the knot, uh, you will end up then getting uh, the knot as tight as possible. 
using these knots for a soft shackle, it is critically important to make the knot as tight as possible, as it's proven in strength tests that the tighter you can tension the button knot, the stronger the breaking strain of your soft shackle. Though four tails still held in the pincer between your thumb and your forefinger, I like to scrunch the knot up into a ball, slowly pulling it together and forming the original circle. Slowly pulling the tails through and then once again equalizing them throughout the knot. As you continue to tease and tighten the lines in a clockwise direction, there's two tools that you can use at this stage to help you get that knot as tight as possible. You can use a set of pliers to help tighten the lines on top of themselves, making sure that you're very careful not to break the integrity of the rope. And when the knot starts to get really tight, you can then use your splicing fid to really get in there and tease the knot around on itself. Once again, starting at the beginning of the knot and working your way around in that clockwise direction until you can pull the tail through. We've sped this part of the video up, but with a little bit of practice, it will only take you four or five minutes to complete this step in the knot, getting it really tight to ensure that uh, any soft shackles you create uh, have plenty of strength. The knot complete, now let's take a look at the construction so you can check that you've done it correctly. Remember we did two wall knots and you'll see that at the bottom of the knot, when looking at it from the side, you'll see both the purple and red lines have the parallel lines of the two wall knots. And when you look at it from the top of the knot, you'll see that both the red and purple lines cross over each other from the two crown knots. Earlier in the video, you would remember I mentioned this was a great knot to increase the strength of your soft shackle. And the reason for this is that the four cords come together at the bottom. So you can actually thread the tails in on themselves to double the strength of the line at that position. If you were to tie the diamond knot, the two cords would come out of the bottom of the knot and two at the top, taking away the opportunity to strengthen the knot at the key point just below the button. That completes today's No Knots update, where we've shown you how to construct a button knot. If you liked today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure that you get notified of all our future videos as soon as they're released.